Jamaica, a nation known for its vibrant culture and reggae music, is facing an unsettling reality that extends beyond its picturesque landscapes. Many claim that the government, driven by self-interest and a desire for unchallenged authority, engages in questionable tactics to suppress opposition. The most alarming aspect is the alleged targeting of individuals, regardless of their stature within society. From everyday citizens to renowned entertainers, it seems no one is beyond the reach of the government's influence. The motive? Control and the elimination of anyone perceived as a threat. Entertainers who amass respect and power from the public allegedly become targets for the Jamaican government. Those who dare to dissent or challenge the status quo find themselves subjected to a range of tactics aimed at tarnishing their reputation and stifling their influence. The government is accused of resorting to spreading false rumors to manipulate public opinion. Whether it's branding someone as a rapist or a murderer, these rumors are strategically planted to create a narrative that justifies any subsequent legal action. The intended consequence is the alienation of the individual from the general population, making any legal repercussions appear justified. Even legal professionals who attempt to challenge the government's actions allegedly face retribution. Lawyers advocating against corruption may find themselves suspended from practicing law, effectively cutting off any legal recourse for the victims of alleged government misconduct. As the alleged corruption continues, concerns are growing about the long-term impact on Jamaica. The prosecution is accused of being crooked, and the Prime Minister is criticized for turning a blind eye to the reported abuses of power. It raises questions about the government's commitment to the well-being of the Jamaican people and the nation's democratic principles. Many Jamaican artists who have risen to international fame have chosen to leave their homeland. The reasons cited often revolve around the oppressive atmosphere and the fear of government reprisals. This mass exodus highlights a concerning trend, the best and brightest talents leaving the country to escape potential persecution. The allegations against the Jamaican government paint a disturbing picture of unchecked power and a willingness to manipulate public perception. The stories of individuals, from common citizens to renowned entertainers, facing suppression and intimidation, raise important questions about the state of governance and democracy in Jamaica. As the world watches, the story of Jamaica's struggle with corruption and suppression continues to unfold, leaving many to wonder what the future holds for this island nation. In the annals of Jamaica's complex political landscape, one name stands out, Vibes Cartel, the internationally acclaimed dancehall musician and lyricist often hailed as the best in the world. Yet, behind the glitz and glamour lies a tale of government corruption and abuse of power that has shaken the nation to its core. As Vibes Cartel's star rose, so did the government's interest in harnessing his popularity for their own agendas. The tipping point came when Cartel, a perennial winner at the annual Sting Show, demanded fair compensation for his performances. Officer Leng, the police officer in charge of the show, refused, leading to Cartel's decision to abstain from the event. This decision, however, set off a chain of events that would change the trajectory of Cartel's life forever. The government, unhappy with Cartel's defiance, allegedly collaborated with a prosecutor Paula Llewellyn known for her disdain toward individuals from impoverished communities. Their plan was clear, to stop Vibes Cartel by any means necessary. Whether it was through imprisonment or more sinister measures, they were determined to dismantle the artist's influence. The first move was a questionable raid on Vibes Cartel's hotel room, resulting in his arrest for a minor marijuana offense, a misdemeanor by any legal standard. However, the arrest was merely a pretext for what would follow. Despite the lack of evidence, Cartel was held for three days, during which the government plotted their next move. Unable to make the minor charge stick, the authorities took the drastic step of accusing Vibes Cartel of murder. The initial trial resulted in a not guilty verdict due to the absence of evidence. Instead of releasing Cartel, the system inexplicably charged him with a different murder, showcasing a blatant abuse of power. While Vibes Cartel languished behind bars, the authorities allegedly tampered with evidence to secure a conviction. Seizing Cartel's phone from the evidence room, they manipulated it to create misleading messages that seemed to implicate the artist in criminal activities. These nefarious tactics, including mimicking voices and concocting false narratives, were used to sway public opinion against Cartel. The strategy worked, and despite Cartel's constant assertions of innocence, the jury was swayed by the manufactured evidence. 
Vibes Cartel was sentenced to 37 years without parole, a verdict that sent shockwaves through the nation. Vibes Cartel, undeterred by the corrupt system's attempts to silence him, and with the unwavering support of his fans, initiated an appeal. It took years for new evidence to surface, evidence that pointed to the manipulation and corruption behind his conviction. However, the corrupt prosecutor Paula Llewellyn, driven by personal bias or ulterior motives, continues to resist justice. Whether fueled by hatred or jealousy, her pursuit of Vibes Cartel reveals a dark underbelly of a system willing to sacrifice justice for personal vendettas. Vibes Cartel's story is not just about a world-famous artist, it's a stark reminder of the corruption that can permeate even the highest echelons of power. As the fight for justice continues, the case of Vibes Cartel serves as a cautionary tale about the lengths to which a government can go to suppress dissent and maintain control, even at the cost of destroying a cultural icon. In a stunning turn of events, the Court of Appeal in Jamaica has dismissed the appeals of Jamaican entertainer Vibes Cartel and his three co-convicts in the 2011 murder case of Clive Lizard Williams. The court upheld the life sentences imposed in 2014, with Cartel facing a minimum of 35 years before parole eligibility. The decision has sparked outrage among the Jamaican people, who cry out for a fair trial and justice for the beloved artist. Jamaican citizens are expressing their frustration, demanding fairness in the legal process. Many argue that Vibes Cartel did not receive a fair trial, and the conviction was marred by corruption and manipulation. The public sentiment emphasizes the need for justice to prevail and for a thorough examination of the case. With the hope of securing a fair judgment, Jamaicans are turning their eyes to the Privy Council in England, the country's court of last resort. Citizens express concerns about the reliability of the Jamaican justice system and hope that the Privy Council will provide an unbiased evaluation of Vibes Cartel's case. In a shocking revelation, an expert from England was sent to Jamaica to examine Vibes Cartel's phone. The findings corroborated suspicions held by many in Jamaica, the phone had been tampered with. Calls and messages were manipulated to create a false narrative, a tactic allegedly used by the prosecution to secure the conviction. The revelations raise questions about the integrity of the entire trial. With the last appeal now in the hands of the Privy Council, Jamaicans remain cautiously optimistic about the outcome. The revelation of phone tampering provides a glimmer of hope for Vibes Cartel and his supporters, who believe that justice may finally be served in the UK courts. Amid the anticipation of the UK appeal, the Jamaican government, particularly the prosecutor who played a significant role in Cartel's imprisonment, seems to be resorting to desperate tactics. Reports indicate that police are targeting Cartel's family, arresting them on seemingly baseless charges. This move is seen as an attempt to provoke Cartel and create a scenario that could be used against him. In a controversial move, Vibes Cartel's lawyer, Asat Buchanan, has been suspended from practicing law in Jamaica for two years. The suspension comes after he quoted one of Cartel's songs that criticized the prosecutor who sentenced the artist to life imprisonment. This move is widely viewed as an attempt to hinder Cartel's defense, raising concerns about the fairness of the legal system in Jamaica. As the saga of Vibes Cartel unfolds, it underscores the deep-rooted issues of corruption and injustice within the Jamaican government. The artist, once a symbol of Jamaican culture, is now a victim of a flawed legal system that has been tainted by tampering, manipulation, and desperate attempts to silence dissent. The eyes of the world are on the Privy Council in England, as it represents Vibes Cartel's last hope for a fair and unbiased judgment. The story continues, and the fight for justice presses on in the face of adversity. As the narrative of Vibes Cartel's unjust imprisonment unfolds, the spotlight shines on the deeply entrenched corruption within the Jamaican government and its relentless pursuit of silencing dissent. The recent suspension of Cartel's lawyer, Asat Buchanan, only adds to the mounting evidence of a system willing to go to extreme lengths to maintain control. However, amidst the darkness, there is a flicker of hope. The upcoming court appearance in the UK, set for mid-February 2024, stands as Vibes Cartel's last resort for justice. As his devoted fans anxiously await the proceedings, they cling to the belief that the Privy Council will be the beacon of fairness that has eluded them in Jamaica. The revelation of phone tampering and the suspension of Cartel's lawyer have cast a shadow on the integrity of the Jamaican legal system. Yet, the hope is that the UK court will provide a platform where truth prevails, 
untainted by the web of corruption that has entangled Vibes Cartel for far too long. In the face of adversity, Cartel's fans remain steadfast, echoing the sentiment that justice must prevail, and their beloved artist deserves a fair chance at freedom. The mid-February court dates are eagerly awaited, carrying the weight of not just Vibes Cartel's fate but also the hope for a reclamation of justice and an end to the era of corruption that has plagued the Jamaican legal landscape. As the world watches, the story of Vibes Cartel unfolds, poised on the brink of a critical chapter in his quest for truth and freedom.